Did the Scythians influence Celtic art? The Scythians and the Celts were two great civilizations of the ancient world, and evidence is emerging of the interaction between the two cultures. But first, who were these two groups? The Celts were bound together by their use of Celtic languages as well as cultural traits. They stretched from the British Isles to Western Europe, and they gradually started migrating east into Eastern Europe in places as far as Turkey. The traditional view was that the Proto-Celts emerged around 1200 BC in Central Europe, and then migrated and diverged from there. The Golden Age of Ancient Celtic Civilization started around 500 BC, and lasted until the Roman Empire conquered much of Celtic territory by around the 1st century AD. The exact origins of the Celts is debated, but we'll leave that for another video. Celtic languages are still spoken today, however, in places such as Ireland, Scotland, Cornwall, the Isle of Man, Wales, and Brittany and modern France. These are some of the high-level details on the Celts, but I'm actually going to make a full video on the history of the Celts coming up soon. The Scythians, on the other hand, were a nomadic people that roamed the Eurasian steppe a region of grasslands perfect for riding horses, um, stretching from Hungary all the way to Mongolia, and the Scythians were known for the love of horses. They briefly established a kingdom in the Pontic Caspian steppe, just north of the Black Sea, um, centred around Crimea and the territory of Ukraine today from around the 6th to the 3rd century BC. They enter the historical record around the 9th century BC, and they disappear from history around the 3rd century AD, although they do survive, and with various Scythian groups surviving well after that point. There are lands in the Caucasus region, um, is one main example, um, that was referenced as their lands um, up until the 14th century, and many people in Ossetia still claim descent from their lands, to some degree at least. There does seem to be some cultural crossover between the two groups, between the Celts and Scythians, as the Celts migrated from Western Europe, East into Eastern Europe, and potentially the, the Pontic Caspian steppe. Whereas the Scythians, on the other hand, um, were located or, or centred in Central Asia, and then spread west into the Pontic Caspian steppe um, to establish their kingdom there um, for a few hundred years. The bulk of the cultural crossover um, is potentially still buried under the ground in places such as Ukraine and Hungary, but we do have some insight into the influence of the Scythians on the Celts and vice versa. I did make a full video on the Scythians um, that I'll link above where I go into much more detail. Many have argued that Celtic art was influenced by the Scythians. Sir Arthur Evans, a British archaeologist from the 19th century, wrote in The Origins of Celtic Art that Celtic art emerged from the interaction of numerous cultures. He notes that Celtic art was influenced by the Greeks, the Etruscans, um, which was a kind of pre-Roman civilization, as well as the Hallstatt culture of the East Alpine region. And he also writes that Scythian motifs also influenced Celtic art. Barry Conlith, the Emirates Professor of European Archaeology at the University of Oxford, wrote in his book The Ancient Celts about some of the potential interactions between the Scythians and the Celts. It should be noted that the interactions between these two cultures um, is still somewhat limited at the moment, but it certainly could be the case given the geography and the timelines of the two cultures, the two civilizations, that there certainly would have been crossover between the two peoples. Conlith notes that a a bronze drinking horn found in Hungary, which ends with an open mouthed dragon wearing a torque. Maybe just one example. A torque made of iron and covered in silver, depicting two ram's heads found in Germany, which may have been of local origin, would have been comfortably familiar to a Scythian. Conlith also notes that various Latin or Celtic metalwork has been found in numerous Scythian graves. Conlith also notes that Celtic swords have been found in Scythian graves, and that Celtic bracelets have been found in other Scythian cemeteries, potentially signifying the exchange of goods and women among the elites. A general theme in Scythian art is struggling animals. Conlith notes a scene of a deer being attacked by two ferocious wolves, inscribed on a pottery vessel from Hungary, as being just one potential example of steppe art in Eastern Europe. Geographically, we know that Celts settled large parts of the Balkans, including moving into modern Serbia, with the Celtic tribe known as the Scordisci in this area 
which I have previously made a video on. Cunliffe writes that the notion that groups of Celts move further east into Moldova and parts of Ukraine now seems tolerably certain. With this mentioned on a marble inscription in Olbia from around the 3rd century BC. Olbia was an important Greek outpost in the Black Sea that allowed the Greeks to trade with the Scythians. Given the geographical migration patterns of the Celts and the Scythians, the Celts moving from west to east and the Scythians moving from east to west, it seems almost impossible that there wasn't a cultural crossover, particularly considering the dates of these migrations. The full extent of this cultural clash of civilizations is still to reveal itself, yet we are gaining some insights into the cultural presence of Celts in Ukraine um, in recent years. The Celts and the Scythians unfortunately did not keep written records like the Greeks or the Romans. If they did, it would make my job much easier trying to trace the origins of these peoples. It does seem the case though that the Celtic presence in Ukraine is slowly revealing itself, eh, with certain archaeological finds just in the last couple of years. But the true extent of the clash of civilizations between the Scythians and the Celts still seems buried under the soil, just waiting to reveal itself. For a full breakdown on the history of the Scythians, please click here where I go through the people in much more detail. Thanks for watching. Please support this work through Patreon, buy me a coffee, and PayPal. All the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you next time.